Hello. Just, I've had a few emails asking me to clarify and show how certain aspects of the Panasonic Lumix FZ2000, which is called in the UK here, or the EFZ2500 in the USA, to get it together and work. <laughs> I'll do my best to react and respond swiftly to those email requests, but I do reply via email immediately or almost as speedily to them. So at least you know I've received them. I received one yesterday, day before, from my golf parents, who, they're not my golf parents, that's their name, my golf parents, who sent me an email asking me a question to do with how to find the higher and lower settings on the ISO. It said, I quote, thank you for your videos. How do I set an ISO higher than 3200? I'm an amateur photographer and new to the FZ2500. So I assume the gentleman or lady is American. Trying to take pictures, pictures of my son's indoor basketball games and also outdoor golf matches. Currently, when we try to reset the ISO, it stops at 3200 and shows 6400 and 12,800 as greyed out and not configurable. So I responded straight away with my golf parents. Your FZ2500 will go from 80 ISO to 25,600 ISO in the extended mode. And here is how to find and activate it. Camera on. Go to menu. Go to record. That's the red camera marker at the top one on the left hand side of the screen. Scroll down to page 7 and the top choice says extended ISO. Switch it on. Now please note that it only works in IA, P, A, S, M and the C mode. But not in movie, panorama, nor the scene mode. Now when I said C I meant custom mode, yeah, so it works in custom, but not the scene modes. So I'm going to show this camera down here how to do it. <laughs> right. Screen open so we can see what's happening and switch on. Now I think you can see that. Right, you go into the menu there. And you go up to the record mode. Let me make sure I'm in I'm in movie mode so you won't even see it. Let's go to shutter. Shutter priority. Menu. Up to the camera setting. I'll take my finger out the way of the sensor. Up to that camera setting at the top there. You have to flick it over to the left to highlight. Okay. Up one there. Now that's page two out of seven. So we'll go back to the camera, bring it across. Page two out of seven. Page three out of seven. Page four out of seven. Page five out of seven. Page six, it says there. Page six out of seven. And page seven out of seven. Now you see it's not on the same page as I told my golf parents. It's actually up at the top of page six here and that's probably to do with the mode and not everything being available in every mode now you can see I've got mine set at P there and there it's on you just accept it's on and hit the back arrow here or there both and that's you you've got the extended ISO at the bottom now you can see, I'm going to use the back wheel to scroll all the way down to 80. Now I can say from testing that 125 is the best. So you can always set it on 100 or leave the ISO settings in the non-extended mode. Just use it when you need it. But 
nevertheless, I, I shoot at 100 to 200 quite often. I have it fixed in the programming not to go above 800. Not my sort of photography. I don't need it. I'll settle for a, a tripod and a long shutter speed. So I hope that's helped everybody else who's looking for it. And don't forget, send me an email if you want to know anything. And I know the answers, I'll tell you. If I don't know the answers, I'll try and find them out on my own camera for you. My FZ2000 is the same as the American FZ2500. There's no difference. It's just a marketing name. And to answer a few other questions I was asked about my lighting setup. Very basic, very cheap. What can I say? <laughs> I'm a typical Scots guy. <laughs> if I can get it done cheap, I will, as long as it works. So here's a video following of my basic lighting setup. Hope it helps. Now I'm using the microphones on top of the FZ2000, as it's known in the UK, or FZ2500, as it's known in the US of A. And this is how I shoot some of my little videos. Light there, shining down there. A light there, <laughs> shining down there. My microphone's recording up there to Audacity. I have a camera facing me straight on. That's the Sony HF20G. And then down here, I have another Sony HF. I think it's HF, could be wrong. It's the 20G model, but this has got the Raynox wide angle setting on it and another light down there. So the secret is to have plenty of those things there. Plenty of lights. And once it's illuminated, then sort the sound out. That's a Yeti Blue. Yeah, I know it's silver, but it's called the Yeti Blue. And my screen shows what I'm saying, just in case I forget. This is down to old age and poverty. And my keyboard, if I do need it, is down there. And there's a white dot fitted to that, so I don't have to look, I can feel it when I want to go page down on the screen there. And that's how it's done. Okie dokie. Ta-ra the new Jimmy. That's Scottish by the way for bye bye. <laughs> so thanks for watching this video. See you later. Bye.